paluje mato jengi mi waran Ay ma puta paluje mato jengi mi waran Gami andi su tuma su tuma Well, hello there. Uh, uh, today we're going to to some very far place. We don't know exactly where that place is, but it's after my eight uh, here in Bamenda. And then we're here with some friends who are used to the cow business. They own cows and they are taking us to uh, somewhere far, far inside this road that we've been moving. We've been moving for quite uh, some time, about 30 minutes on this road. And we're going to be meeting some herds of cows. Our intention here today is to find out how cars live with human beings. Now, you see, we're practically out of town and uh, we are going to the hills where we will be finding out the Ghana Cup. Uh, lots of people uh, talk about the Ghana Cup, but now we want to live with them, see how they live. Well, at a distance, we're already seeing a couple of guys on the left. Okay, which means uh, practically we may have already gone to where we are supposed to be. It's okay, this is our road. Okay. We are very grateful. So we are very, very grateful. Uh, we have finally got it to a point. The Ardo here is the person who is the chief. He's the one in charge and is the one that's going to give us permission to do everything that we'll do here. So we, we, we will definitely be showing you things you've never seen before, as usual. So join us. Let's go find out how they're going to Den rasta turtata, den rasta la kaboda rasta buikata. De aladi rasta doja la dunia veli walai. Samile ngomba da ya ta setem de trampe. These people were nomads for centuries before they settled in some location not far away and were later brought here. This is part of the Mankon village settlement. Mankon is the major host of the people of the Menda. Like all the neighboring settlements, most of them developing settlements in the northwest region, the indigenous population, or those who first settled, made up the majority and created the first local administration. The Fulanese of the Northwest regions are attached to most, if not all, the villages that make up the Northwest region with an administrative link to the palaces. The Fulanese of the Northwest region were mostly wandering nomads who moved in search of food for their cattle no matter how long they went. About 60 years ago, most of the Fulanese settled on the green grass hills of the Northwest region. This is how they got connected to the palaces of the chiefdoms of these villages. We were the settlers of R. I. Z. Mankon in the 60s. Throughout 1984, the government come to R. I. Z. Mankon, take that land, which was our grazing land, transfer us to this land. So there was this document that was made, order that was given by the SDO of Bamenda that a grazing land should be created in Mankon in this area for us. I still see, I think the ROC still have those documents. So as we move to this area now, uh, it has, since 1985, our parents were the ones that were taking care of things. Now our parents are late that we have our ARPO here. Far on the hills of the outskirts of the villages, they too started their own small settlements. As the Ghana Cops, as we refer to them in this document, they wandered in search of food for their cattle, moved in families, and built more families. Mr. Ali, Amadoui, Kompa, they were women were picking them. Then this one. Amadu Amadu, na ikom pangaru ipikin dia. Then for ya, then na bula na mana? Buat ikom mana ipikin dia di stadium? So na we na we for the stadium for ikom. He's going to be willing to show us from where he holds the traditional council meetings. 
And uh, this is my traditional okay. house. You okay, this, this is this is the traditional council house. Then yeah, this is where you hold meetings. This is my traditional house. Every building, I wish can be in this kind house. Money. People now with traditional house from all region. The one born with the born with inside this kind house. Now. And we leave. Then before we go for modern way now. See Yes. So now my traditional houses. If I fix the house and finish, I will transfer everything. Every man can go and apply wash. Don't need anything. Do everything. Yes. There's a bill in a palace house. Wow. Which kind? Which kind of farming you do? I mean, which kind plant do you do? I plant corn, plant beans, cocoa, cuckoo, and yams, planty banana. You decide that one them on all of your family? No, I decide some. Then you do some for family. And I can get pears, mangoes, all. The mangoes are from Pumbos, 1985. So this place? This place now is cemetery. Oh, uh huh. Yes, this place is my cemetery. This is this is my father, my mother there. Yeah. My brother and someone my sister then. Then this one, my, my cooking there. Yeah. Then my wife. Then we with my mother in law for that side. We were with my brother's wife for the other side. We started this cemetery now around 85. 1985. Yes. First man way there for my grandmother, the mother of my father. Mm -hmm. Here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then secondly, now my small pie son, the daughter. Mm -hmm. Yes. He did for day. Then the rest. Then my big sister son, the son there too. Then with the small, small one. As their communities and families got bigger, they too built peculiar cultures and practiced their religion. The small families have become communities which are now represented in the Ngumba houses and the traditional councils of the chiefdoms of this area. Maybe I have a Amadu in Mankong, Tumbong too. At the same time, I have a Waterhead in Tumbong too. As Ardo, Ardo means shop chief for Fulani, for Muslim community. And then all cattle, all cattle grazers in Mankong, they did not under me. So anything concerning animal inside Mankong, other damages or anything, or one man one can say here, they must see me face. I agree with them before I give them place for stay. Then I form my big man. Form of Our main focus today is the life of the Ganako. Ganako is simply caretaker of cattle or shepherd as it's biblically referred to all those men you see here have been in the line of this duty some have grown to own many cattle but all have a link to the life of a ganako when this group of people first settled here they had some problems to deal with in their nomadic days they moved across hills as their cattle at the vegetation and they controlled their cows from feeding on the crops farmed by the indigenous population on the other side. Since the Ganakos got settled and now share land with the farmers, it's been a very difficult task to separate the cattle from the crops. They know the chalk crop because we are giving what people them, but they take care of the cows. And I warn them seriously because I know one any problem with them neighbors the people who do together with them the good way you deal with people you deal with them in peace the last way we pull with people them for the guide the cows anytime every day and night they will come the cow so that means they no go destroy and for our company we make fence for protect our farm 
but the cars will come up for their sense as Today, this sector has been innovated and the Ghana cars just don't wander around but follow a procedure not only to own cattle but how to feed their cattle. Yes, they will grazing permit. They all will document. The grazing permit, now you will be festing over the gator. Now that the show say we'll get right for grace anyway. I know get limit. I feel grace inside mankon, I feel grace inside bafu. But if you are getting my grazing permit. And the grazing permit, it is signed by the minister of uh, animal. And then we will now get in that. With the around the area, mm -hmm. yes, now they design the, 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 the grazing permit and the number of their car where you get them, you put them inside. Now, what the grazing permit mean? Because if you don't get car, you don't no get grazing permit. I know get grazing area, yes. We have had our time with your settlement, but we gonna cause on duty and not here now. They are not far away, but they stay with the cattle in an enclosed area just above here. But now in all plenty, whatever they stay pay will come, but in all plenty. And a few the pay will come. You work five months, then give you on Man cow, Gary means say man cow. After five months. That's one year cow. Yes. So, so one day where you'd work now for six months, they'd give you a vige. Down now, man cow. We now meet up with the people I will be spending today with the Ganako. Those behind the cattle, those who stay with them, and those who make sure they don't go astray. Mm -hmm. So when they will go, they will stay for some So do they keep your own shop here? Yes, they will keep it. Mm -hmm. Yes. And did they sleep for you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I think we show you a place now, my man. Show you. <laughs> show me your place. <laughs> <laughs> So now, where are you now? Mm. Um, how would I, why would I, how would I choose to do this work? If you don't wake up for money, then first you will go move million. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We come with drink or we cook with tea, with drink before we enter work before we cook something. If we don't cook something, we chop. Like this time now, so we take cow, we go bush, we go feed them to the cameras. Six o'clock or five thirty, we come back. We put them for fence. We begin prepare. We on chop. Mm -hmm. Yes. Before we pray. For evening, we sleep. No, sir. Yes. Then for night, so mm. how would they do for security? Where would they, they not feel can't take out? We did look up for night. We did carry them. So one man did they outside? No. Or, or, or? If one man he don't sleep one hour, 
demand sleep one hour. And so we did. Okay, so one mom was always there alert for Golu. Yes. How the how the car in there. Yes. When I enjoy when I walk. Yes, we enjoy the walk. Oh. Because we, we go enjoying because five more they pay me one cow for inside. Let me say for 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 ten more you get a two cow. Yes. <laughs> Let me say for three years you don't get your own six card. Yes. You come on go. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> I'll begin join them small, small, small. Of salt. If they not chop the salt, mm -hmm. they are they are more you know the sweet for chop grass. Then this soil, it gives them energy plus vitamin too. When cow sick for bush, how would they bring them back? Well, or if he get accident? <coughs> when he sick for bush, we must take care of the cow. If we tell a we to one man go then they take care of the cow small, small, go to the cow them. Then the other man will take the other group to the cow and come back with them for them. Then they will take that away the six more small bring up. They bring up for door before we go find the doctor come. They get me. I am a good abalunga, come on, John, a Ben and Yadu. Ben and Yadu, come on, a Ben and Yadu. It is exciting to know that despite the huge physical appearances of some cows, they take just a short time to get mature and their reproduction is also peculiar. Alaji Dubai am turmi to wari mahama sardi ma wari mahama mong tre wari mahama Apart from just keeping the cattle in a confined environment, there are many difficulties that the Ganokos face. Most of their problems will not be recorded in this document here because they have already accepted them as a way of life. Apart from just supervision and the help from government, their health and that of their cattle is not totally guaranteed. Uh, like tick soup, it will destroy animals. So now that we will manage for ticks, they shake for the move to six. These the ticks where they destroy cows. Mm -hmm. When you leave this thing for cow for one year, all this cow then go destroy all. So it starts so when you go hang for cow, the grows more, it suck blood. You see how it don't be, don't, don't flop, and from this it go fat be so. It go that way come out for the body for the cow for them. One see that place will be wound, then the fly go put uh, this thing. In the cow the Time has come for preparation for us to follow the instructions from the lead Ghana Corps. The owners of the cattle, who were first Ghana Corps or former Ghana Corps, have to go back to the settlement and we will prepare to take off to the wild to feed and take care of this flock. Why ma puta palu je ma to jengi mi waran Gami andi sutu ma sutu ma hiru na sare modu Once we got in here, I was a bit scared of the cattle But this set attempt and very friendly They are not scared of humans And have given me no reason to fear them too Well, I, yeah, from the beginning I was scared But right now it looks like a friend of mine has chosen me he has chosen me he has come right to me and i think i'm already pampering him uh, well i'll be moving with him throughout today and i think i have a specific friend that i will be spending a lot of time here today with uh yes maybe this is not a tick i'm sure this is where there was one tick because there's a wound here this one should be now na tick be come out here now na tick you don't come out here now no this is just okay if you don't fall all right our cattle will have to live here in groups and we are divided amongst us as Ghana cops to take care of our own flocks. This is my group leader. We are going west. We shall only have to meet the others back here in the evening. 
Well, you definitely must have been following. Uh, we have been talking to the owners of these cows. We have left their home. We are right now on the hill. But uh, within the next phase of this documentary, we shall be moving with the Ghana course up the hill for today, where we will be spending the whole of today to find out how they do stay with these cows. Well, you've seen where they live, you've seen how they live, you've seen how cooperative they are, you've seen how respectful these people are, and you've seen how organized they are. So right now, I'm taking permission from uh, the owners of these cattle, and uh, we'll be spending time over the hills today to walk and see how these cows feed and live. Join us as we climb the hill. <laughs> Alright, so people will remain for long. I'm going to turn in Yaman by. No one don't come away. You go to your farm. Okay. Take that, take that particular car with go as straight so. <laughs> no, when I go go, now me and can I go remove the cows, please. I want to talk bye bye for una. Then thank una plenty for for this thing, but when I go when I no concern we can go when I go when I for for town. When I go when I make me and can I go when I go. So I thank you when we come back. When we come back, we will see you for evening now. Okay. All right. Um, uh, we'll 
of a house, when will the city place it on? So, as you go now, so, we will chop the go, we will chop like two hours, we go down for water, we go drink water, then they start the chop, the chop, it won't be 130, we still send them back for water, get the drink, then we turn turn with them, the last time, the 4 o'clock. So they drink water that time, then they can come back and smoke, smoke, smoke. Yeah. Five days, they the interference. That time, close to rest. Wash them. Okay, we try, we try. Well, uh, I think we, we definitely have gone to our limit. Uh, two hours here is not a bad thing for you, I guess. And. Uh, uh, while we drop you, we will continue yeah, right now to see uh, where we should be ending here. We are right now in the heart of the forest and we will be with this cow. Okay. But now, you chow, and we thank you very much for being with us there and you stay tuned because we have definitely other beautiful things for you as we have always done. Stay tuned. We'll go, we'll go do more fun. Bye, Bye.